actually am very excited that I did this. Yeah. I um, have always been uncomfortable with my breast size, but it mainly, um, I really had a lot of sh issues with it when I, um, after I breastfed. I noticed the shape kind of changed completely. So I lost a lot of the volume. I didn't have big breasts to begin with. But um, I came here because uh, Dr. Mills was a uh, the doctor for my best friend, and she was 100% happy with that. She loved it. She had a different type of surgery, but I was comfortable with some of his pictures and some of his outcomes with that, so I did that. Um, what did you think when you showed up and you met Dr. Um, Mills? I love Dr. Mills. His personality was amazing. Um, I felt 100% comfortable here, and that's what I read a lot of reviews that you could get really your first instinct when you walk in. So I was happy with the front desk and everybody that was, really everybody that I dealt with. I dealt with Jennifer, mm -hmm. and I loved her. Love, yeah. love, love. <laughs> so. <laughs> so it really helped you kind of get the, the consultation process and meeting. It was very smooth, really... yes. And he talked everything, every um, question I had, he was able to answer. I brought in a list of questions because I went on Real, Real Self, and um, I read a lot of reviews, and I brought in my own pictures, which helps a lot. So if you do that, I brought in the size that I wanted, the shape, everything. So I knew what I wanted when I came in. So it helped a lot. You were well prepared. Yes. <laughs> but he did answer questions that I didn't even think about. So because I didn't know too much about going under the muscle versus over in the safety and I guess how that affects the shape and size and everything. So yeah. yeah and what that. exactly was the procedure that you had done? Um, I had. What is it? The submuscular. Mm -hmm. I had um, I have silicone, which he helped to explain the difference between the saline and silicone, and helped me decide which one. I kind of was already leaning towards silicone, but he helped to um, help me, I guess, understand the difference between Absolutely. them. So, yeah. And then was there any lift procedure that was? I mean, he didn't do any lift. I didn't really have any too too much issues with that. They weren't big to begin with, so mm -hmm. I kind of lucked out. <laughs> so <laughs> there wasn't too much to lift, <laughs> but. Everything seemed to go really well, so, yeah. and I, like, he went under the muscle, mm -hmm. I guess, because I was so small to begin with, mm -hmm. so, um, it helped to support and protect, actually, the implant, so. Tell me about the surgery itself. How did you, how did you handle it that day? What did you feel? Surprisingly, I was, as you can tell, I'm so excited. Yeah. I thought I was going to be extremely nervous, and I was so excited. Like, I have pictures of me thumbs up before. <laughs> it was great. I loved it. So, and afterwards, I wasn't in a lot of pain. pain no, low, I was well actually, controlled. I've already, I've always had kind of had like a high tolerance for pain. Okay. So, because I had a C-section and everything, and I was fine with that too. But, yeah, I really, I think I was on pain meds maybe two days afterwards. And, I mean, there's tenderness and everything after it, but nothing, I was up and going. I, my daughter, so I was up taking care of her within like two days. So. How does she? She is too. <laughs> That's a fun age. Yes. They're busy and running around, aren't they? Yes. Um, would you, you said that you had your friend tell you about Dr. Mills, mm -hmm. and it was a different procedure, but yes. when you came in and you met with him, everything really fit for you. Yes. And would you tell your friends? Oh, 100%. Mm -hmm. 100%. I love Dr. Mills, so does she. We were 100% happy. So, and I couldn't be happier with my results. Great. Very, very happy. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks.